ethics and safety measures in computing. Internet is a worldwide network of computerized devices and servers. Data travels to and from among computer systems and servers. The organization that provides the internet facility to users is called Internet Service Provider or ISP. Advantages There are many advantages of using internet. We can make donations online. We can send and receive information across large number of computer systems. Through email service, we can send messages. Today, we don't need to visit crowded stores. We can make online purchases through internet. We can send birthday greeting cards through the internet. Before making any purchases, we can check online for user reviews of the products. Using social media applications, we can reconnect to our old school friends. We can gather information and also apply online for new job openings. We can earn online by doing freelancing jobs, selling online, completing surveys, affiliate marketing, etc. We can also sell old items that are of no use for us. During idle time, we can listen to music or watch a video. Disadvantages The disadvantages of internet are We often tend to purchase extra items that make wastage of money. The internet is not free. Sometimes it hurts while paying bills. We get confused with too many choices of vendors selling products. The physical distance among loved ones is increasing. Somewhere the emotional connect between people are missing. We feel helpless when the internet connection is down. We always remain engaged with many online activities. We don't get time to rest. Our life is moving at the pace of internet. We seldom spare few moments of peace for us. Conclusion We should not allow internet to distract or disturb our mind. We should use it in a way that brings harmony in life. Ethics in Computing Ethics are a set of moral principles that governs an individual or a group on what is acceptable behavior while using a computer. Cyber ethics is a code of behavior for moral, legal and social issues on the internet or cyber technology. Cyber ethics also include obeying laws that apply to online behavior. Cyberbullying is the use of information technology to repeatedly harm or harass other people in a deliberate manner. With the increase in use of these technologies, cyberbullying has become increasingly common, especially among teenagers. Acceptance World Wide Web is a place where values are considered in a broadest sense. We must take care while shaping content and services and we should recognize that interest is not apart from universal society but it is a primary component of it. Sensitivity to national and local cultures It belongs to all and there is no barrier of national and local cultures. It cannot be subject to one set of values like local TV channel, a local newspaper and we have to accommodate multiplicity of usage. While using email and chatting, Internet must be used for communication with family and friends. We should not use the Internet chatting for communicating with strangers and should not forward the emails from strangers. Pretending someone else 
we must not use the internet to pretend as someone else and fool others. Avoid bad language. We must not use rude or bad language while using email, chatting, blogging and social networking. We need to respect others. Hide personal information. We should teach children not to give personal details like home address, phone numbers, interests, passwords to anyone. No photographs should be sent to strangers. While downloading. Internet is used to learn about music, video and games by listening to it and learning how to play games. We must not use it for downloading them or share the copyrighted material.